What's going on everyone? Bloodlust Knight here, back at it again with another World of Tanks video for you. Here showcasing you probably one of my favorite tier 6 medium tanks in the game. One that a lot of people basically push aside and some many still say it's not a good tank at all. It is a tier 6 premium, so apologies to all of my free-to-play players. But it is the Czechoslovakian Skoda T40. Premium tier 6 been in the game for such a long time so long in fact that they gave it a camo during Watt's 10 year anniversary four years ago during the time of this recording and as you can see it's just a Bastille it's a 2D camo but it's nice nice little bit now what is it about the Skoda T40 why I love this tank so much well like I said earlier it's a tank a medium tank a lot of people underestimate. Yes, it does not have that good of a gun depression. It is also extremely tall for a medium tank compared to others of this tier. So it easily gets penned. I mean, relatively easily gets penned. But what I like about it is the firepower that this has for a medium tank. So I can see already with, with a short enough reload... And I did 188 damage, which is unfortunately a low roll that I did to the light tank. But the Skoda T T40, it's got an 88 centimeter or an 88 millimeter for a tier six. That's incredibly strong for a tier six to have. To have the 88, it's the same thing as the Tiger 131 and the heavy tank number six, which I'm sure many of you, if you've played around tier six, you have most likely seen one of those two tanks, especially the 131 quite regularly. So, now pushing up forward here to help my buddy who's about to die, Tiger 1 comes up and voila, 223. This is where it shines with the 8-8. It can take on the Tiger 1. Whereas, even the Tiger 131 in the heavy tank will sometimes have difficulties petting the Tiger 1. And right there you just saw Jackson. Again, it's a tank that easily gets penned. There's no 228. Look at that, Jackson. Three shots. Almost got the Jackson. He retreats. I don't want to get hit by this Tiger 1. The Tiger 1. <laughs> yeah. It's Even though it's the Tiger 1 and not the 131, its gun is improved compared to the 131. I mean, right there. Just 200 damage. Over 220 on average. So what's great about the 8.8? Well, as you see, 220 HP on average. That's how much damage it does. 145 penetration, which... Some may say that's a little bit too low, but that's actually fair for a tier 6, especially with an 8.8 centimeter, making it to where it could basically overmatch or pen other armors much more relatively easier compared to its other tier 6 counterparts, like I've done to the Tiger 1. There goes the Jackson, which is my first kill. 1,800 damage already. I mean, right there, Tiger 1, I'm pretty sure, was definitely not happy at me. There goes the T-37. Just easily hitting him every single time. Now, the thing about the gold rounds, the gold rounds is where some people go ahead and just say it's really shines. 200. For a tier 6. 200. So now I'm pushing forward, now I have to go against this Leo. To, in order for my heavy tanks behind me to help. Pop out, and unfortunately I miss. That is another flaw with the Skoda T40 a lot of people don't like, is that its accuracy is a little poor. But if you compare it to other tanks, including some up higher tier at tier 7, like the T20 and the Leo in front of me, you put the bigger gun on there. Ouch. And its gun is also fairly inaccurate. Now, I did shoot the Leo and tracked him. Then I took a fire. There's a shot. Because it was obvious, it was like, if I get spotted, he's right there. That's the only spot he can see. Another precautionary shot, because I don't know if he backed up in time, but I moved around because I can't deal with this Leo firing APCR. And considering how it's 260, he is using the big gun, but low rolling, which is... So he pops out, is retreating track him tiger b hits him again and then here i come finish him off it's not terribly inaccurate at all you get yourself a good crew on here and have brothers in arms as well as the skills smooth ride all those skills it really improves this tank exponentially just again fair note with it is that it is a very tall tier six medium tank easily gets penned by everything and 
yeah, it's, it does not do well in the hill battle. Its gun depression is terrible. It is very is a very bad gun depression. It has almost none. It's like negative six, I believe. It's it's very bad. It does not fight in hills. But if you understand how to maneuver your medium tanks very well, which we're going to do to this E25 here. Shot in the back. He's tracked. He's still stunned. Got him one more time. And teammates finish him off. Still only have three kills. Oh, hello. 28 13. And yes, this is a low tier game as we are facing tier sevens. I had an HE loaded for this one. Get ready to fire fire, and I hit the armor. So I don't get much of that. And somebody else finishes him off. So right there. Victory. With a definitely, to me, one of the strongest tier 7. Or excuse me, tier 6. I was thinking the T20 there for a moment. And one of my favorite tanks of all time. The strongest tier 6 medium tank in the game to me. I love this tank a lot. It has been very fun. I understood it very well because when it was released over on the consoles version, and when I came back to PC, it was on sale for half price, which ended up only being $5 at the time. So I grabbed it. So yes, it is unfortunate that those of you who are my free-to-play audience, you cannot get this tank without unless you have to buy it. That's the only way to get it. It's not in the Bond store like the Tiger 131, which is why you're seeing plenty of those. And the other two tier sixes is the SU-100Y, which was added earlier this year, and the Panzer IV-S, which has been one of the oldest ones in there. Will they add this as a Bond? I don't know. Maybe? It could be something. I, I don't see a reason why they wouldn't add it to it and put the camo this camo in. This is the 2D style that was released in the 10-year anniversary, as I stated earlier. But yeah. With that, let's go take a look and see what I did with this match. But again, my favorite tier six medium tank in the game, and unfortunately it is a premium. And to me, I'd say it is one of the strongest, pretty much one of the strongest ones in the game, if not the strongest. The Cromwell, only the Cromwell Berlin could outmatch it because its DPM is higher. Other than that, I don't think anything else can. And with that, here's the end of the match results with the Skoda T40. Nice overall, well, just one of the best matches. Not the best match, as you can see here with the Mastery Badge. The ribbon's not underneath it, so it wasn't a new record, but another Mastery Badge all the same. I have gotten so many of these, I'm actually close to the final one. I would have already gotten it if I played this regularly, but I got 758 tanks, <laughs> so I don't stick to one. Total all, I did... Blind fire that Leo. I thought I had not, but I did. So it totaled up to 3,036 damage. Again, tier six against tier sevens. 3,000 damage. That, that's a very high amount. It's not the record. So I think I remember someone doing 5,000 with this. It's a really, really strong medium tank. You do not underestimate the Skoda T40. I've had a lot of people underestimate it. And because they don't realize that it has an 8.8, unlike its tech tree counterpart, the Skoda T25, they think, well, it's the Skoda T25. It's a 7.5 millimeter three round autoloader. This thing's an 8.8. It will pin you at the equal tier. It will pin you and it will hurt. And again, nice, nice reload too. So that's how I'm able to get 3000 damage. And of course, the battle results at the end, top of the board. So for the next two weeks at the time of this match, you have to pass 1,423 base experience to get the ace tanker. And the reason why I always say that with two weeks is because every two weeks they reset it so that other people have a chance to get a mastery badge. Because if they did never reset it, no one will get a mastery badge. But yeah, already, look at that. Almost three times the damage of the Tiger 1. And again, Tiger 1 and there's Tiger P, both re really good and really strong tanks, especially after Tiger P got buff. And I'm just already up here at 3,000. You saw the reload. It's about as fast as a Tiger 1 with the same caliber as Tiger 1. Only slightly less pen because Tiger 1 has a better 8.8 L71. So, 
that's what that's the case here with the Skoda T40. Do not underestimate this tank. If you see it, be wary. Take advantage of the fact that it is very easy to pin and very easy to hit. So using range is the best option for this. If you go head to head with this, you better have a higher, faster DPM like this Cromwell Berlin, which is another premium tank. Or you have friends to help you, because if not, this thing will just face a uh, face tank you and win the day. It's such a strong gun. So let me know all what you think about this match. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you hate it. And let me know down in the comments if you have the Skoda T40 yourself or have fought plenty of these and do anything you want. Do you hate facing it? You love facing it because it's a nice little meatball to get a whole bunch of damage in easily. So let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Give this video a subscribe. Yeah, give the video a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for more video content like this to find when I get more out as my schedule is completely messed up uh, just because I do shift work. So it's really hard to get... I cannot keep a set schedule. But yeah, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and I hope to see you next time.